Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to show you the most inspiring awesome places that you can visit even if you come here for just one day. Let's go! Austin is one of the most adorable cities in Texas. You can start your trip from downtown. Watch incredible skyscrapers that are reflected in the Colorado River. Austin is a state and live music capital. You could find live music in bars, restaurants and at many festivals and concerts. Austin downtown is the central business district of the city. It's home to many major attractions including the state capital and entertainment district of 6th Street. The area is also known for its eclectic mix of restaurants, bars, shops and cultural venues. I like Western guys. It's so cozy and so cute. Look at this, please. There are so many bicycles and push cycles there. I think that's really cute that this city is so sustainable. The Texas state capital is a must-see destination. It was built in the late 19th century. The capital boasts an iconic Italian Renaissance revival style, with a grand dome and a beautiful rotunda that is sure to take your breath away. You can take a guided tour of the building. It includes visits to the house and senate chambers, the governor's reception room and the capital extension. The capital is a perfect spot for a leisurely stroll or a picnic. Green lawns, majestic oak trees and beautiful fountains create an amazing atmosphere. Today the capital is reconstructing, but that's still awesome. Near the capital you could find the Lorenzo de Zavella, a carf and library building. It was opened in 1961 to protect the priceless Texas historical treasures. This library is a hidden gem for history and book lovers. The library hosts various educational programs that provide a deep understanding of Texas history and culture. It's a very strict but so beautiful building. We didn't have this cathedral in our plan, but we found it accidentally. So look how it is beautiful. St. Mary Cathedral has been a center of community for 150 years. Its history dates back to the mid-19th century when a small group of Catholic families established a church in Austin. Over the years, the church grew and evolved, eventually becoming the Grand Cathedral. And for now, this little squirrel presents us with a Zilke Park. It is a beloved destination for both locals and visitors in Austin. Park covers over 350 acres and offers a wide range of activities and attractions. It's the perfect place to spend a day exploring and enjoying the outdoors. Zilke Park offers miles of hiking and biking trails. There are numerous sports fields and cards for salsa, volleyball and other sports. Park is also home to several unique cultural events throughout the year. One of the most famous is the Austin City Limits Music Festival. It's a huge swimming pool. Today is rather cold, but some people are swimming there. But I think in summer it will be the best place in Austin. One of the most popular features of Zilke Park is the Barton Springs Pool. It's a natural spring-fed pool. The pool is a refreshing oasis during the hot Texas summers. It opens year-round and works at night sometimes. And what I love the most in that city, that you can sit everywhere and rest, and your legs are also resting. Austin's graffiti scene is a vibrant aspect of the city's cultural landscape. They reflect Austin's unique creative spirit. The graffiti is not only aesthetically pleasing, it's a platform for social and political commentary. After a long walk, of course, you need a good snack to gain strength. When it comes to boogers and BBQ, Austin is a foodist paradise. 
The Cathedral of Junk is a fascinating art. It was created in the 18th by artist Vince Hanneman. He began collecting scraps of the metal and other materials as a hobby. Over the years, the structure grew and evolved. Now it looks as a towering maze of wind and paths, hidden rooms and towering sculptures. Unfortunately, we didn't come here because we didn't have an appointment, so I put all the information for you below. It's certainly interesting to look at the junk, but we are moving on to McKinney Falls. It's a paradise for all nature lovers. It's a huge state park that offers a diverse array of natural features. Its forests are home to variety of plant and animal species. For example, sycamore and pecan trees, white-tailed deer and armadillos. You can explore the forest on many hiking trails. They offer you breathtaking views of the falls. There are numerous bird species, such as the blue heron and the belted kingfisher in the park. You also can see reptiles and amphibians, like the diamond-backed water snake and the leopard frog. The falls are the highlight of the park. The upper falls have 20 foot drop. It is a popular spot for swimming and picnicking. The lower falls have smooth rock formations and cascading pools. They provide a peaceful oasis for relaxation and contemplation. McKinney Falls State Park is a must visit destination in Austin. If you are a hiker and nature lover or simply looking for a peaceful escape from the city. After enjoying the stunning nature, it's time to head back to the equally stunning city. We'll show you some more views of downtown and then head to the bridge to see the baths. The Congress Avenue Bridge in Austin is home to one of the largest urban bed colonies in North America. Now we are staying on the Congress Avenue Bridge and I hope that we can see a lot of beds. And if we do that, we'll show you too. Each year, from late spring to early fall, the beds emerge from under the bridge at sunset each night. They are creating a breathtaking display as they fly out into the sky in search of insects to eat. Bats play an important role in the local ecosystem. They control insect populations and provide food for other animals. As you can see, it's pretty hard to see them. So it's only up for your choice, but we don't recommend you to see this place and waste your time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. We'll provide you every week new videos about exciting places in the United States, in the world. Bye bye.